how the government plans on spreading this super new coronavirus through my mother. Coming up next on Deceptions of the Ages News. Hello everybody, welcome to Deceptions of the Ages News. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do so and ring that bell. All right, let me tell you the story. Yesterday, I get a call, it's from my brother. My mother, the night before, had gotten ill. And so in the morning, she went to the doctor. She had a headache, that's it. What's the doctor's recommendation? Now remember, my mother's retired government, so all of her bills are paid. Oh, you need to go directly to the medical center in Everett. Yes, indeed, the medical center in Everett with a headache. So she's admitted and they keep her overnight. Now, what's so special about the medical uh, center in Everett? Well, that just happens to be the same place where they took this Chinese man they let into the country with the coronavirus. Now, why would they let an aging grandmother into a hospital with a uh, Chinese man with a deadly virus? Now, I'm not the person who tries to spread panic or whatever, but why would a doctor look at my mother with a headache and send her right to that hospital? Well, she would have looked at that doctor's family or my mother's uh, family history. She knows she has a lot of children who have a lot of grandchildren and they can infect her and send her right back and immediately that uh, virus is going to spread. Now, I'm not saying that this is what is happening. I'm saying that this is how disease is spread and why did my mother with a headache get sent to that hospital? Think about it. They are trying to spread this virus as fast as possible. Has anybody in for one second said we need to shut down immigration? We need to shut down immigration from China. Not one person has said that. Why? Well, the answer is pretty simple. If you want to read more about how they're going to kill the people in the Pacific Northwest, read my book, The Rainier Paradigm. And for even more reading, read my book, Deceptions of the Ages. All right, so this is Matthew Hines for Deceptions of the Ages News. Hopefully my mother will recover fully, but if not, you know what happened, and you know what happened to us. And hopefully, we'll see you next time.